Police in Wa have arrested a 32-year-old man for allegedly engaging in mobile money fraud. Nuruddin Abdul Ghanim is said to have duped over 50 people in the Upper West region over the last two years. He was arrested at his hideout at Gurugu in Tamale. Join News' is Upper West correspondent Rafiq Salam reports from Wa. He showed no sign of nervousness or remorse over what he has been accused of in the last two years. He was loud and seemed to be bragging as he mumbled an account of how he allegedly defrauded eight of his victims. So when I call you, because the, the next time um, I'll, I'll change my voice, not through the phone, I'll change my voice. Change voice. I'm not with anybody. I've collected a lot of money. Yeah, how much? Is true. I, can't, I can't remember the amount, but I see it's a lot of money. Yeah. Born Nuruddin Abdul Ganiu, the notorious foster, recently claimed he will be called Nicholas Anelka, the name of the lanky French footballer. He is alleged to have defrauded over 50 persons to tune of 150,000 Ghana cities. He has registered over 40 mobile phone SIM cards with different names to aid in his criminal act. You know the ID card is time to get. When you mention the number, you mention and the register, you put the name. As you have the ID number, when you mention the date, when you mention the 10 days. It was revealing and explosive. His victims and the police appeared riveted and appalled. An LK's first victim was former Apos Regional Chairman of the MPP, Alhaji Abu Bakar Abdul Rahman Short. Alhaji Short expressed shock at the incident after the suspect confessed to the act after helping to the suspect to pay his school fees. Anelka prior to committing the act confessed to styling himself as a journalist and worked for Angel FM in the Upper East region. It's Angel FM. Angel FM. And if you call them, ask them what I was sending them story to tell you. Even I can tell you one story, I'll ask it for them. One of them, the Tungu Rana. The time the Metro Mass, the, the time the Metro Mass Konari with the listen, the Tumundo, the suspect confessed to using proceeds from his alleged dubious act to build a three-room bungalow, which is at length level around what DBLA office. The Beauty Powers Police Commander, ACP Peter Ndekuri Anaburi, who for two months has launched a manhunt for the suspect, opened up on how he was arrested at his hideout at Gurugu in Tamale. We started tracking him, that was around August. Getting him was a problem. So when we were now getting closer to him, all of a sudden we were told by one of the one informant that he has left town and we don't know his whereabouts. Uh, fortunately, we have someone who gave us information that he, was, he has run to Tamale and he's hiding in Tamale. I quickly called somebody in Tamale to go underground and find out, and we gave the number to the person. And lo and behold, last Thursday, I had a call that he had been picked up. He has, he has duped a lot of people, a lot of people. Right now, the, the names that we have, there are about 13 names. Uh, you have seen the names. I've showed you the names. And the list is 1,005. The list is 1,005. He has about 13 SIM cards. And he tells us how he gets the SIM cards. He, go and mention, he goes to mention seven diggers, which he says belongs to... Uh, National Health Insurance, and without verification, and they register the SIM card. He goes to mention 10 digits. We belong to uh, uh, voters' ID, and they will not verify, and they issue the SIM card. So my appeal is that if the, we need to actually contain this mobile phone fault, at least the security system might be improved for the service providers. All the service providers, whether Airtel, Vodafone, and MTN, we must streamline the way they operate, or else... This country is heading towards trouble. He has allegedly defrauded James Sonta Kube, popular known as the guys of 5,250 Ghana cities. He is happy that he has been apprehended. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam. Wow. You're still watching News Desk. When we come back, we have business and an insurance company is making a call on government for help. Stay with us.